Hey guys, welcome to Oxenfree 2, uh, Lost Signals. This game just dropped earlier this year in 2023. Um, uh, like seven ish years, seven or eight years after, uh, the original Oxenfree. Um, and a couple of things to clear up or what actually a fact about this game and then something to clear up from what I have been discussing previously. Um, I can't remember if it was chat exclusive, like stream exclusive or if it actually went into the, uh, the YouTube videos. But uh, first thing about the location, Kamina is actually in Oregon. They actually do have their ducks in a row with this. The reason it's confusing is because the whole atmosphere is Washington State inspired. But it takes place off of a coastal town in Oregon. Which to me is a little bizarre, like you just should have put it in Washington. I, I like I know I, I have a resident from like Seattle that's like there's no there. There are no islands off the coast, but like I, I would stretch my belief that there would there would be a tiny island off the coast. <laughs> of Washington State. So I don't know, but the dev team has actually spoken out on that. So. All right. Um, and then uh, factually, this game takes place five years after the events of the first game. They say. That they advertise that you did not have to play the first game to play this one. I'm pressing X to doubt. Oh, OK, thank you. Oh, thank you, Kazi. Um, but. uh, Yeah, so that is the like, that's kind of the scoop. Um, There was no big build up. There was the ARG that went on with this um, or anything like that. Um, and yeah, uh, as usual, like Oxenfree, it will pause itself. If I click out, you will hear me clicking out to get collectibles. I am in the midst of platinuming this game on my PlayStation. Um, the last run through I did was in August. Uh, it's just that this game is harder to platinum or 100% due to some of the trophies being bugged and the fact that this has a longer play time. So going through and this has like very specific diverging paths. So it's like, for instance, if you listen to one girl and try to establish a friendship with one girl that immediately locks you out of like becoming friends with two other people. And I'm dead serious on that. And it's like that with like at least it's like that. So there are like four other characters. So it it's like that with two of them. <laughs> so you it, you at least need to do about three or four run throughs to get everything if nothing glitches, um, I had done three and I thought that the last one on my PlayStation would be the final one, but the trophies were glitched and did not pop and I got very frustrated. Uh, and I learned that maybe I had to make a different choice at a different spot halfway through the game. And I was like, oh, my God. So I'm going to test that with this. Um, so if you hear me clicking around, it's because I have gotten all the collectibles on my PlayStation. It's fine. Nobody throw a fit. I'm just I'm saying this in advance, because if you remember Tunic, uh, apparently looking at a guide, even though I'm transparent about it, is backseating myself. So uh, I'm just especially taking a stand against that and saying, fuck that. Um, I But I am going to look up where the collectibles are um, because I've already done it on my PlayStation. So <laughs> whatever, man. So, um, yeah, if you, if if it stops for some reason, that is why I don't know of any glitches on the PC, but we'll see. Oxenfree 2 did not glitch for me on my PlayStation, but I don't know about PC. So. With all that, excuse me, out of the way, um. Let's get into it. Uh. I'm going to pick up as many things as I can. Um, oh, well, that's just easier now, isn't it? I had like 25 windows open 
But I really only need two. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, it's saying you need at least three times because there are three different endings as well. Like just solidly three different endings. This is very different. Um, and I'll explain. I'll talk about what I think is interesting about how Oxenfree plays on a meta level with endings. And we as a people like who are preconditioned with um, games being like, this is good, better, best to be like, yeah, here, like, and, and then, like, taking that and going, here's the good, better, best endings. Um, and how I disagree with that. Um, remind me to have that discussion once we're finished with this. Because it's actually more relevant here, I think, than it is in the original. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's how I usually like my... There it is. They start with the subtitles off. and they actually give you three different save files. Wopply Lumpagus. Hello. Either I shouldn't have taken that extra half of a sleeping pill tonight, or I really am here and have no clue why.
Uh, is anyone up there? What the hell is... Excuse me, who... who are you? Bury me. Where you can't see water. I don't know what I'll do for chat, but, you know, something for chat if you can guess you that there? was. Riley! It's the little button on the left with the dial. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm here. I think I dozed off for a second. Hey, hi! <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'm just glad you picked up and that the walkie's working. I'm Evelyn, an environmental researcher with the lab. Uh, welcome to your first day on the job. I'm sure Leslie went over this stuff with you already during training and orientation, so forgive me if I repeat a few things. You're just going to be planting transmitters along the coast to help us study anomalous frequencies. First of all, can you hear me okay? Over. Yeah, I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you, we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now, over the last few months, Kamina has been overrun with disruptions in the electromagnetic spectrum. These frequencies act like radio waves, but as far as we know, aren't. And they're messing with the town's comm equipment, TV stations, even air traffic signals. The transmitters you'll place will relay any signals back to us so we can study them. Got it? Over. So there's weird frequencies blocking airplane chatter that no one can explain? And maybe I'm misunderstanding, but this is kind of spooky, right? No, you're dead on. This is super spooky. The sort of thing my partners get out of bed for. Your transmitters and climbing gear, for the rocky terrain, are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should be right in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? Uh, no, that's all right. I think I got the hang of it. Over. All right, great. Okay, I think we've covered everything. Well, nice to meet you, Riley, even if not in person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. So oh, yeah, the way you use it is you just, I click that button and then I scroll using the right thumbstick. Very easy. Uh, hello? Hi, this is a pre-recorded message. You've reached the Kamina High School radio advice line. If you'd like to get some advice, please call again when the line is open. Listen to 88.1 to tune in and find out when to call. Thank you, have an okay day. So I noticed, I think I need to turn the volume up a little bit. Um, so that, like that line actually calling like the Kamina High line, if I help her, I'm locked out of being friends with, or like, yeah, being friends essentially with two people. And it sucks. It's stupid. There's no reason there should be. I'll explain it later and why I don't think that, that makes any sense. Um... But yeah, so this game is like trying to get you to play it multiple times when IMO. If you have a multiple ending game, that's already incentive enough. Um, but yeah, no idea. Okay, uh, rewatching the VOD. People rewatching the VOD are watching later. They've had plenty of time to guess by now. That's Mag that was Maggie Adler. It was 1952. This is Kamina, and she was looking out of the Kamina Lighthouse. We can guess at Edwards Island. B 
bury me where you can't see water. So that was, uh, that was Maggie Adler. Last stop to Washington, they said. An hour from any town, they said. Ugh, I just cannot believe I forgot my headphones. See, I guess this is like right on the border of Oregon and Washington. Tickets for the ferry to Edwards Island. Children under seven must be accompanied by an adult. I wonder how many lonely eight-year-olds want to spend their weekends touring bird colonies. And there's the ferry. So the general store is up here. Wait, let me see if she has any other commentary on shit. Seafood Sammies. Eva's got worms. Nope, okay. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. What is this? A flyer? Learn about our free soul body health class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars, blood, moon, tide. Huh. Closed. Back Wednesday. Are you kidding? Hey, Evelyn, is there like another general store nearby? Cause there's nobody here, so I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. You must've closed early. This isn't a deal breaker though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camber Cape. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is having some car trouble, but he's got a transmitter you both can use for tonight. Over. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but partner? If I'd known I was working with somebody, I uh, might, have, might have remembered to put on deodorant. Oh, it's fine. He's another contractor, Jacob Summers. We like to use a buddy system when people are in the field. You never know what could happen. People slip or get bit by snakes or... Sorry, Riley. Uh, one sec. That can't be right. Those readings don't make any sense. Hey, are, are you talking to somebody? Sorry, Riley, I gotta go, but uh, real quick, you have your map with you, right? Pull it out for a second. So, as you can see, there's a lot of land to cover, and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road, and you'll get there pretty quick. So yeah, this is Kamina. Um, I have my own thoughts about this later, but you can see how it's way bigger than the other map and why this takes a lot longer. So. Oh, very clever game. I can hear it very faintly in the background. Also, by the way, your map has a lot of useful information. Don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing. Okay, I'll call you later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. Some of these postings are pretty old. God, 20 bucks an hour for a babysitter? If she doesn't fly through the chimney with a school of singing penguins, that's a total ripoff. Yeah, Riley is definitely older um she's in her late 20s early 30s i think same with jacob there are two main characters
Um, and I'm already, I'm just gonna bring this up because I'm not gonna be able to shut the fuck up about it. Um, you may have noticed already that there are stage directions now when people are talking. Like it said, Evelyn, very quietly to someone else, this can't be right. These readings are off the charts. And I don't like that they put in this game the stage directions of how someone is talking or what they are doing instead of letting us as the player or the viewer in this case uh, have media literacy to figure that out. It feels very handholdy and it doesn't feel like they're letting you take any interpretation to a lot of lines. And maybe that stemmed from a complaint that they felt like some of the lines were misleading, but I never really felt that in Oxenfree. Like sometimes Alex would say something a little more sarcastically than I wanted her to, but it was not anything like you could find in a Bioware or like a Telltale game where you choose something innocent sounding and it's like the character completely flies off the handle. Like Alex never actually has responses like that. They did a very good job verbally cueing you into the tone of the answer and what kind of answer it was going to be. So I really don't like that they're like, this is exactly how the character is saying this. This is exactly how they mean it. Um, in, in an age where we, uh, we as a society are slowly losing the idea of media literacy and uh, looking into things and being able to interpret things, I find that to be very troubling. And I'm just not a fan of it because I'm a fan of being able to interpret things the way you want. Missing Lucy Pasterson, age seven, born 1979. This has been up for a while. <sighs> Hope you ran away to California, kid. No, no, it's not. Where the hell is that stupid kid? Having some car trouble? Yeah. How can you tell? You're Riley, right? I'm Jacob. Evelyn let me know you were on the way. Uh, you, you, you kind of caught me in the middle of... <laughs> this is embarrassing. I can't get my truck to start. Yeah, this uh, was going to be our ride around town for the job, but she might be on her last legs. I'm not sure. Oh, man. Uh, well, well wait. Uh, how'd you get it here? Was it working before? It was, but not now or, or i'm just an idiot let's can we try something the key's in the ignition could you just start up the engine real quick i'm trying to see if it's the uh starter or the battery it's an 85 four cylinder something um sure what the hell oh thanks it's just i don't know what the issue is my brother is whispering so lost signals in the middle of the voice currently <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but today it just up and died. I'm just hoping it's not the starter. But but if you could just turn the key and try and start it for me, I can see a little of what's happening on this end. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, uh, tur turn it off. Back. Well, thanks. I won't even try to explain what happened. Oh, that's bad, right? That's not what we want? No. <sighs> that's not what we want. I think we can call time of death on this one. Riley and Jacob, did you guys meet up yet? Uh, this is Evelyn. Over. Oh, I think that's our uh, bosses doing a check-in. Want to answer that? Hey, Evelyn. Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's a handyman regularly, but we were lucky to get his help with this. Your truck ready? You guys good to go? Uh, Jacob, 
Sorry, you go by Jacob. I just, I, I know a Jake, so it's muscle memory. No, it's, it's fine. I don't really care. Ah, uh, not yet, Evelyn. Jacob's truck was struck down by a mysterious illness. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over? Uh, kinda. It's Camber Cape. We want to try and get as much over-air traffic as we can. I see now why you asked if I had an all-terrain vehicle. Yeah, it's a lot easier with a ride, but I know folks that do the hike for their morning warm-up. It shouldn't burn you too bad. We're going to Camber Cape? That's... it's not far. It's, it's a hike. Yeah. You two are going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. Jacob, you have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Riley, I'm strapped for space, so uh, could you grab the transmitter? Well, I do have the backpack. I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule. Then why even say that? <laughs> thank you, Evelyn. She's it's a the sweetie. Long pole right there. Uh, thank It'll you, Jacob. When you hit the button. Sweetie, thank you. Everyone's so impatient. Huh. Neat. One tonight and a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. Da, na, na, okay, guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? I don't think I have any questions, no. All right, guys. Good luck. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. I'll be on most of the night. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk to you later. Okay. Over and out. Uh, Riley, real quick before we go. You see that radio on my truck? Uh, can you grab it? Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. You want to bring a radio? Are you, are you planning on listening to music along the way? Or? Uh, no. Uh, there's lots of kind of cool stuff we can do with it. It's right there. Oh, huh. thanks. Hey, try it out. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. Tune it to 93.7. Uh, sure, uh, but is game number 10 of a 162 game season really that important? Oh, I don't care about the game. I just want to know if we get reception, that's all. Uh, but please give it a try for me. And it is important. The radio, I mean. 93.7, the cheap seats. This is David Ratley. Bottom of the now 10 for the comedic crayfish. Still all tied up. I used to watch crayfish games with my older brother like 20 years ago. But, uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. Okay, by foot, Camber Cape is up this way. Shouldn't take too long. So, uh, Evelyn, she's, she's a little funny, right? Eh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up around them. But that particular breed of small town, something... I'm a little nostalgic for it. <laughs> yeah. Not, not that it's a bad thing. Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but but when I heard your name, Riley, I... Well, do, do you remember junior year? This is Osmore's English class and uh, PE fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, uh, Patty. Peanut butter Patty. We ran in different circles, but... I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. G good to see you. Uh, yeah, you too. So, uh, hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Uh, first hand. I'm what you call an independent contractor. You know, light fixtures, building a deck. But I signed up for this partly because of how weird everything's been. It, it's, it's why I brought the radio, actually. Evelyn won't get into it, but you can tune into super strange stuff if you know how to find it. Super strange stuff? Like, like more than just foreign stations bouncing off a satellite somewhere? Uh, yeah. Way more. It used to happen just on Edwards Island. It was a sort of inexplicable audiovisual phenomenon. Using any old radio, you could tune into physical objects. I'm curious if we'll get readings from the island. Wait, what does tune into physical objects mean? I can't even picture what that could... Yeah, it's hard to explain. 
When tuned to the right signal, a radio would sort of charge up stuff in the environment. It did make sense. I mean, people investigated it to no real determination or whatever. The effects, though, that radio effects has kind of bled from the island to around here now. But I, I'm sorry, I'm just into this stuff. Super nerd techie. So that's I've not been good. My head off ever since we met. Yeah. Okay. What's uh, what brought you back? Uh, uh, uh slow up. Be careful around those logs. Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. But you seem okay. <laughs> you ever slip? Sounds like there's a an anecdote there. <laughs> no. Well, I it once, twice, but ne never seriously hurt. Well, once seriously hurt, but you know, I'm fine. What's, uh... Okay. What brought you back? Um, my dad isn't doing too great. I thought I should, um, just move back, you know, L at least for a while. Be home to be close to him. Oh, sorry. That, that's, um, that, that's, that's too bad. I, I didn't mean to bring up bad news, but that's really nice of you to come back. I, I mean, for him. I'm sure he appreciates it. Yeah, family's a, uh, a thorny bush. And I've never said that before in my life. And I definitely won't again. <laughs> well, what's, what's your story? Jacob the Handyman? Uh, there's gotta be more than that, right? Um, to be perfectly honest, not much more. I'm, I'm a tinkerer. I like to tinker. Yeah, not, not in the supervillain way, but, you know. What's this? Oh, that? We have some off-color people living this far out from proper civilization. There's a group in town that performs, uh, nature rituals. You'll see evidence of it dotted around. This could be them. Whew, uh, this part's always a little... Oh, wait, wait up a minute. There's a bench over here. Can we just take a quick second? I just need to rest my feet. Yeah, sound like a maybe, but... Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. <laughs> I could use the break, too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> Turned out to be a really nice night. My uh, dad and I walked these woods before. I was five or six and we were coming up to the entrance to the uh, the park and I saw something off in the woods something that I just remember it made me slip and fall a little and my dad he pulled me back so I wouldn't go off the ledge he hurt my shoulder and I had to go to the hospital I've actually <laughs> I've actually always hated these woods I didn't even remember that I hated them until now yeah these woods will kill you if you let them. <laughs> These woods will kill you? What does that mean? Oh, you know, we have a pretty big black bear population, so no that and other stuff. All right. Thanks for the stop. Help me catch my breath. The soundtrack, uh, Scientific did the soundtrack for this as well, by the way. Oh, hang on. Sorry.
Checking. Okay, cool. Sorry, I just had to check something. All right, we're getting close. Just over the crest, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. Right. Hours, sunrise to sunset. Used to be open to like 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Closed. Locked. And locked. Damn it. The hell do I do? Huh. I don't know another way around. Maybe we should call Evelyn. Tell her we're at a bit of an impasse. Sorry this turned into a bit of a headache. I totally forgot that they lock parts of the park up after hours. Visiting Walla Walla anteaters are wondering why they spend the gas money. But hey, I don't write the season schedule. Hey, uh, Evelyn, this thing is closed. Or locked. The way to the summit. Closes at sunset. Okay, uh, that's not ideal. See if you can, um, uh, I don't know. Stupid small town crap. I'll bet the bars close at like 2.30 in the afternoon. We gotta get that thing placed up top, so... Uh, get creative. Over and out. Looks like the lock's on the other side. Huh. I'd say let me boost you over, but that barbed wire says otherwise. I'd rather avoid tetanus, so no climbing this one. Don't forget about Mercer. Heh, <laughs> never would. This or nothing. Oh, well, that works too. It is a, uh, a proper climb, though. Coming with? Mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, so, uh, knock yourself out there, champ. Uh, f figuratively. Oh, come on, it's fun. Good challenge, you know? I'll happily take your word for it. Come open up the gate after your topside. <laughs> Forgot how pretty it can be up here. Hey, uh, Evelyn. Yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Oh, perfect. So, when you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. Just fiddle with the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Sounds good? Over. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Got it. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. Oh, hey, little animal burrow. That's cute, I guess. You doubted me? Not for a moment. Awesome, thanks. Up we go. Well, you grew up here, right? You ever buy that story about Edwards Island? About the, the submarine that went down near Fort Milner? The USS Canaloa? It was a, uh, you know, a casualty of war, right? The USS Canaloa was the only American submarine down in enemy combat in American waters. It happened right off the coast of Edwards Island. 1943, during World War II. But, uh, you know, some people don't fully buy it. Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, some people say it was friendly fire, that we accidentally bombed our own sub. Well, when you say some people, are you one of those some people? Yeah, I'm one of those some people. Yeah, sure, you could say that. Sometimes things just aren't what they seem, you know? Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're willing to bend your brain a bit, there's always the other 
other story. Other other? There's another story on top of us bombing our own soldiers? Do you believe in ghosts? Sure. Some people, maybe even some people standing right next to you, think the crew members of the USS Kanaloa got lost on the way to the light, let's say. Why not make that the official story? The tourism boom from amateur ghost hunters alone, it... Well, if you have heard the story, and even fewer believe it. But, uh, I don't know. It, it, it makes sense, if the radio wave strangeness is coming from there, right? I mean, Edwards Island is a weird place. You go there, and it's like your feet never really touch the ground. Couple that with an at least semi-questionable tale of maritime disaster, and you have yourself the recipe for a proper ghost story. Eh, don't know. Your mileage may vary, I guess. Nice trope usage. Look, I can believe it. I've seen crap that's hard to explain, impossible to explain even. So, hey, you tell me a downed submarine crew haunts the coast of Kamina, I won't argue. You're kind, but let's be realistic. But hey, ghosts, no ghosts, wartime accident, or a heroic defeat. At least we can both agree that it gets too friggin' cold out. Jesus. Oh, I can barely feel my feet. But I guess I'm not used to night hikes. <laughs> oh, agreed. I'm freezing. It's a little weather-worn, but this is nice. They used to have one of those coin-operated binocular things up here. But someone kept sticking gum over the eye holes. Really lost its luster. Oh, whoa! See that? Over Edwards Island. Oh, that storm cloud looks nuts. Yeah. We don't usually get skies like this. Yeah, that doesn't look great. Kind of foreboding, right? Yeah, maybe. We might want to do this quick. So, over here looks like as good a spot as any. Let's plan it around this area. It's clear enough, I think. I do love this shot of Edwards Island in the distance. Because there's Harden Tower, there's the town. You can see uh, Epiphany Fields, there's Fort Milner off on the right. That means down to the left, like kind of around the Cape, I'm guessing, is where Maggie Adler's house was. And there's Toey Woods off to the left. Toey Woods in the campgrounds. And the cliffs, the beach. Oh, yeah, on the side there is actually the beach where they stayed. So, yeah, Maggie's house would be around. Around the way. OK, so the transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. Just move the, the thingy until the what's it connects to a source frequency. Yeah, to be honest, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. Give me a second here. Yeah, it's working great. I uh, think. Yeah, so should we call Evelyn? Maybe check with her if it's working? Oh, uh, yeah, good, good idea. Hey, uh, Evelyn, we did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the readings just coming in now. There they are. The signal's clear. You guys did a great job. Oh, uh, hold up one second. Okay. This is a little weird. Uh, guys, tell me what color is the little light blinking? Uh, Jesus! Wait, what is that? Do you see that over Edwards Island? Riley, did you know if... Is this... Is this right? Riley, what's going on? The readings are a little weird over here. Uh, uh, Riley, is this normal? It's reacting... Something. Riley, turn off the transmitter. It's... What? Just turn what it off. 
Watching. No, 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 no! God, I can't believe this. Oh, the portal. Something's wrong with it. Oh, I was almost there. What is that touching it? Is it lightning? What? Wait. There's there's someone here. What the Who hell is, is she? She did something. She whatever she did, fried our antenna. Mom, come on. You tell me all the time. Don't let the concerns of others concern you. Right? What what? Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Riley? Answer, please. Over. Oh shit. Here we go again. Oh, uh, sorry. I think I dozed off for a second. Hey, hi! <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'm just glad you picked up and that the walkie's working. I'm Evelyn, a new researcher with the lab like you. This is the start of my fourth week, actually. I'm by Oval Beach. It's about 20 miles out, but I can hear you okay, surprisingly. Did I... did we already talk about the Crab Shack? Oh, uh, Seafood Sammy's. Yeah, that's... I think it's under health code probation or something. I'm sorry, Riley, I'm not really understanding what you're saying. This is your first day with us, right? The kiosk for Edwards Island is... God, everything is... This is real, right? Uh, I think so. I don't really know what we're talking about, but, uh... You're going to be, uh, placing transmitters? That's, uh, that's the, the job. In your backpack, you'll find most of your equipment. Should be four transmitters and a test radio. Now, here's where I confess that I completely messed up and I totally forgot to pack your climbing gear. I'm choosing to blame the unforeseen hangover, but I express mailed it to the general store that's run by a very friendly manager who agreed- The general store's closed, Evelyn. I get there too late. It's closed? Oh, shoot. Well, can you still head over and knock on the door? It would help me out a ton if they can just let you grab the equipment real quick. Ah, uh, damn it. This isn't the right time yet. Hey, you, hey, what the hell do you, you think you're keep doing? Away. Keep away from all of this. For your own good. This isn't for you. Are you doing this? Time is... Just leave it alone. Don't... Don't listen to them. Don't do anything. Stay back! Hey, wait! Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Riley? Answer, please. Over. Evelyn, there was... There was some kid breaking into the general store. Uh, sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be... futzing with this. I'm just glad the walkie's still kind of in range. I just wanted to tell you that, actually, man, have you ever gotten deja vu? Because I am getting a serious case of it right now. Yeah, I, I think we keep repeating this same moment. I'm, I'm not sure, but... Riley? Uh, are you still there? You're getting better. Riley? Can you hear Hello? Evelyn? Come on, oh, please. Come out to play. The moon does shine. As bright as day, come with a hope, come with a call, come with goodwill, or not at all. Who, who is this? <laughs> well, this is a fun loop to be caught in. I love one to ten minute loop time loops, yeah, right? Especially, you know, the tutorial loops, those are so much fun. But our antenna, it broke. They planted the beacon thing and it ruined everything. Got overworked. I'll have to, to repair it, re rebuild it, or no. somehow or... Well, ruined. Ruined. Look, it's her again. She keeps trying to... Well, that was a thing. What the hell just happened? Yeah, still on fire.
This definitely wasn't here before, right? Right. Okay. I feel like whatever that was stopped because of that machine, or uh, I don't know. God, I hope Jacob's okay. Maybe he went back to his truck. This is going to be okay. The forest is the town of trees, where they live quite at ease, with their neighbors at their side, just as we in cities wide. Something super weird happened in the sky over Edwards Island. Better find Jacob. Oh, and if you guys are, if you guys saw this pile of stones and went, oh, 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 oh. To this evening's theater of the air dramatic reading. These half hour performances of one act plays are sponsored by Headley Textiles. When you need fabric, make sure it's Headley. <laughs> Outside, which is perfect cooking weather, so let's get back to our recipe for that Cuban classic, arroz con pollo. About to get to the tricky parts of the recipe. Courage, children. Courage. So arroz requires a certain type of rice that can be harder to find than your standard grain. It's called parboiled rice. It's only that which we can see, and that which we cannot see. Yeah. But it's an ocean. Like, the earth. Like, the earth. Like, the earth. No Satan messages. Um, hello? Is anyone there? Evelyn? Echo? Echo? Whatever. 
piece of... <sighs> Wait, it's... God damn it, it's cracked. Oh, great. I really need to get a working walkie and call Evelyn back. She'll... Well, she better know what the hell is going on. Jacob, are you in there? Answer, please. I don't know what the hell is going on. Hey, pal, or whoever you are, this isn't funny. Is, uh, is someone there? <laughs> ah, ah, Christ! Hey, Jesus! Good Lord, that... I'm sorry, you scared me. Whew. Gotta get my heart a second. Didn't you hear me? God, I've been calling out for five minutes. Uh, uh, sorry, no, I, 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 I didn't. Oh my God, R Riley, this is... I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? I, I was... We were planning the transmitter. Some lights came out of it. There was a... Oh, wait, there was a, a giant triangle in the sky above Edwards, right? Did that... Yeah, that... That, that happens, that, oh man. Are you okay? You seem alive, which is maybe more than I can say for myself right now. I think I'm okay. Yeah. Ah! Hey guys, are you there? Oh, it's, it's Evelyn, Jesus. Maybe she has like any idea of what the hell is going on? Yeah, here's uh, here's hoping. Hey, Evelyn, we're, we're here. Did, did you see, or do you know, Anything about what happened out here? A bolt of lightning or something came out of the transmitter and it, 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 it kind of knocked us out for a bit, but we somehow made it back to my truck. I don't, we don't know what happened. D do you, over? Oh, jeez, guys, I, I don't, I honestly don't think it was lightning. I, I don't have eyes over there, but the readings on our end are completely flipping out. You need to go back to Camber Cape and see what the transmitter is doing right now. Uh, oh, really? Well, <laughs> If, if, if you could see what's going on, it seems risky. <sighs> okay, Evelyn, uh, this is Riley. What do you need us to do? You need to go back to the transmitter and tell me what it's doing, while we still have time. Time to do what? In time for us to figure out what's going on, before it gets any worse. I hate to ask you to do this, but it's very important you go back there and check it out. Over. Don't worry, Evelyn, we're up for it. <sighs> we're here, aren't we? Great. Yeah, but we need assurances. Time and a half, and medical, in case our damn skin melts off. I am sure we can cover expenses, Jacob. Just please double time it and get back to that transmitter. Thank you both so, so much. Really, uh, let me know when you get there. Over and out. But here, the walkie I had near the transmitter died, so I assume yours did too. This should work. Man, what a night. I have to say, Jacob, I don't have a good feeling about this. Look, I, I know this really sucks what we're about to do, but I don't know what's going on. But but it seems extremely bad is all I can muster right now. And we're the only ones out here that knows anything about it. So I feel like sometimes people are put in positions where they can most matter. And this feels like it matters right? Well, maybe that's true, maybe it's not, but I know we can figure it out. I mean, you, I don't know, but I know I can figure it out. Yeah, I, uh, I believe you. Oh, hello. Yes, uh, lurk, but also be safe, because I, you're probably heading home. Long story short, we looped, uh, and there's someone causing some shit over Edwards Island. Oh, Violet, wait, there? wait, listen. Their transmitter That's... knocked everything out of whack. The reverberation destroyed our antenna. We, we need to repair it. We, I almost had it. They were talking, but we were talking. Charlie, come in. Violet, where are you? Over. Let's just listen in for a second. Guys, I I think I'm lost. I'm at 
somewhere by the cliffs? I think she's by the cave system. Violet, what happened? Where did everybody go? Charlie, where are you? Over. I'm... I think I'm by the ranger station. Pointilia. That's not far from here. I can get another receiver to fix the antenna. Hurry. And Violet, stay put. Charlie and I will get you later, okay? Hearth and Cinder. Catch squirrels if you can. Over and out. That doesn't sound good. They sound... young. You have any idea who they could be? Uh, I... I don't know. One of them sounds familiar, but I'm not sure yet. That's like the only little bit of debris blocking the pathway, so I always forget that it's there and I just run straight into it. Without fail, every playthrough. Get coffee and food. Let's let's just hurry up and see what the transmitter's doing. Come on. What the hell could... Why, why is it doing this? I have no earthly idea, Riley, but we can figure that out when we stop it. Okay, this, uh, this looks very volatile. It's affecting something over Edwards Island. You see that? What the hell is that? The giant thing in the sky. That's a huge light show. It looks like, like a giant hole in the sky. How is that possible? Is the transmitter really affecting it? It's beaming some kind of energy to it, but... Riley, this is gonna sound... I, I, I don't know, but this is all... I've heard about this. Someone told me this was possible years ago she no one really believed her but she knew even 30 40 years ago she knew jacob who are you talking about wait riley do you do you hear that there's uh hear what you don't hear that it sounds like it, it sounds like kids Cool. Glad to be doing this again. Jacob. Jacob? Jacob, can can you hear me? J J Jacob. Oh, I can't believe this. D oh Jacob! What is that noise? Here we go! Jacob! Jacob! Oh, God. Just, just hold on. Remember your name and address and telephone number. number two. And if someday you lose your way, you know just what to do. 
right? Kids. Wait, who? Who is this? Marco. Uh, Jacob. Hey, you hear what I said? Miss? Bar's closing. You gotta go home. Hey! Anyone know her? Where? Anyone friends where, with this woman? Where, where am I? Anyone? No? Do I have to call somebody? How did I get... How, how did I get here? This... How'd you get here? How are you getting home? That's the... That's what we're... Hey! Wait, buddy! You were talking to her earlier. sunken or just out in full fucking force that's awesome I feel so good about that Jacob man I am happy you're alive I, are, are it's kind of touch in? and go there for a minute this is Garland God this is crazy the time glitches, the jumping around. Riley, I think I might know what's going on. But first, let's get the hell out of here. Evelyn, you there? Over. Oh, I don't think we can get through. Look, I, I... I think I know what might be going on, but it's going to take some explaining. My cottage is just up the way here. I might have something that could help. It's not very far. You live in a... in a cabin? Like a log cabin? Well, I say cottage, but yeah, it's, it's, it's been in my family for a while. We were one of the few allowed to build on the land. It's technically part of the park. Anyways, I took this job because I've been into this stuff ever since I was young. And I'm not just randomly into radio technology. I mean, I know, I know what transmitters are for a reason. When I was a kid, there was this older lady who lived in town. Well, she lived on Edwards Island, really, but she got her groceries and stuff in town. She studied this stuff. Weird frequencies, signals. She had lots of theories no one believed or would believe. When we were kids, we were kind of friends, and I, I have a lot of her journals still. I know she wrote about something like this. Yeah, the cabin's just up uh, this way. Not that it's gonna wow your socks off or anything, but I like to explain to people that I inherited it. Yeah, just, just so you don't think. It's not like this is my beach house or anything. My parents had me and my brother old and both died in our 20s. So you share it with your brother? Yeah, technically, but he's uh, never really around. The cabin and the money left me and my parents' will means that I have to work, but it's not like a huge deal, basically. I, uh, <laughs> I used to worry this made me a boring person. Yeah, I wouldn't tell dates or people I just met. I was kind of embarrassed by it. Why worry about that, Jacob? Everyone's boring in their own little way. Trust me. Oh, well, I don't think I'll worry about not having many stories to tell after tonight. Just a gut feeling. I'm compelled to remind you that this place was an inheritance. I'm not a secret billionaire. Just look at my shoes. Uh, are you a duke of something or something? Th this is a castle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Real palatial. Warm in the summer, cold in the winter. 
It creaks, it leaks, and termites can't get enough of it. Don't judge a book by its cover. Works both ways. Trust me. All the stuff that we need is inside. Should just take a minute. I know exactly where it is. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Problem? Kind of, yes. The door is locked, which it should be. The keys, however, are not where they should be. They're, oh, I can picture it. They're in the kitchen drawer. I was moving things around this morning, and I forgot to put them back in my pants. Ah, oh, God. Hey, it happens. I watched a video on how to pick locks. I think I remember the host's hair color. Yeah, I'll tool around with it for a bit. And if push comes, I'll just unscrew the damn thing. So I love Jacob's house, like from the outside as someone who actually has an actual log cabin themselves. This is, is that... fucking no. beautiful, um, especially with that A-frame kind of on top of the main structure. That's really cool. But I can see why he bitches about it. A-frames are hard to maintain. We have uh, we have somebody Maybe? in our no. in our like little excuse me, area up north who has an A-frame and uh, it is, yeah, they're hard to maintain. Long shot, but do you got your garage door opener on you? Believe it or not, not a usual pocket suspect. Sorry. Yeah, that would be, for me, a car thing. <sighs> Doesn't look like he cleans the gutters much. Eh, maybe he plans to. He has a doggy door. Hmm. Nope. There's the garage door opener, though. Stupid pain in the ass bastard door thing. Brats. Really? Damn it. <laughs> this is going to take a while. Swell. I like how I do like how this game completely circumvents that uh mm -hmm. the whole like mm -hmm. how it was like sitting uh up there. Uh, I like how it like completely circumvents the whole like use the broom to push it over and then pull it towards you kind of thing. Like that standard puzzle you would have. I think that's actually hilarious. Cause yeah, that's what realistically does happen. It falls the fuck over. I can speak from experience. Not like that exact experience, but it, it doesn't work as well I as- I have no idea what I'm doing. As they often make it seem. Why am I not surprised? Why would he leave his window open like that? All those bugs. This should reach the window. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to pretend Jacob is my fucking favorite. I love him so much. I find him to be very relatable. Encyclopedia Brown, a biography of Guglielmo Marconi. I don't know who that is. And an eighth grade science textbook. Jacob, you are a man of interesting tastes. The Guglielmo thing really threw me for a loop because, especially because if you explored Resident Evil 8, you can find sculptures of Guglielmo's uh, as treasures. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> fuck. Oh. Not bad for an amateur. Oh, his brother. Didn't think they'd be twins. 
There's a pizza box on the bed, Jacob. Hello? Better three hours too soon than a minute too late. The waiting be hell, I am to wait. Better three hours too soon than a minute too late. Uh, yeah, you have a nice day too. Dude, learn to boil rice. Come on. <laughs> I say that. Riley says that. I made Riley say that as someone who would who did live on pizza this much in college, and I promise you it's not worth it. <laughs> Take her advice, learn to boil rice. Although we couldn't. Our kitchen was in um our kitchen was in the basement and would set off the fire alarm. Anytime anybody used it. Of course. Hey, you there? Come let me in. So, hang on, Jacob. There's a couple of familiar things. Like that Celtic knot. We saw that in Maggie's house. Hmm. He's actually pretty good at this. Thanks. Yeah, how'd you get in? You left your upstairs window open. I used your ladder. Oh, I left that open again. God. I'm gonna find a barn owl in there chewing on my pillow one of these days. Uh, the journal should be just over here. I know there was one where she talked about gates. Windows to perpendicular spaces. I know it's in here. Just, uh, hey, hang on. Your, uh, brother's a twin, right? I saw a picture of you and uh, uh, another you. Yeah, Pete, he's, uh, he's in New York these days. He hated it out here. Dude, it was pure allergies. Out of the East and never looked back. He has a family now. His wife sends cards. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, this is it. W one of the journals that belong to Maggie Adler. She was stationed at Fort Milner, right here on the coast, when the submarine crashed. She said it was a mistake, that the whole thing had an experimental engine or something. And that when it blew up, something happened to the reactor. It split the crewmen from our reality, forced them in between time, in between dimensional planes. They were gone, but not really. Each and every last one of them. Is, uh, that why this is happening? Maybe. Maggie did all these experiments and, and, and research in the last half of her life. She discovered radio waves can reach through planes of existence. It can, it can affect the past and, and the future. But, I mean, you know, without hard proof, without the knowledge of the inciting incident, no one really except me believed her. I mean, n not that I, you know, blame them. I mean, okay, so let's say everything you're telling me is true. How does this help us solve this? Just, look, this one, she told me about ghosts, about people she cared about, a woman named Anna that died to one of those things. She called them gates, and I think that big triangle thing in the sky is one of them. I could barely understand what she was talking about. I was just a kid, you know? How, uh, how did her friend Anna die? She didn't really get into the details, just that during an experiment, something went wrong. Miss Adler said she spoke through a, a portal or a gateway or whatever to a Sergeant Griffin years after he died. He was on the USS Canaloa, stuck in time. These were my versions of, you know, of campfire stories, I guess. All right, so all of this happened in like the 40s or something, right? Why is this happening now all of a sudden? That portal over on Edwards Island, whoever did that, yeah, I mean, I don't think it was an accident based on what we heard on the walkie. But uh, just wait, there's more here. What we need is this guy. Uh, yeah, here it is. She writes, huh. Huh. 
Jacob, come on. What'd she say? Oh, yeah, sorry. She's... Uh, she, she says that... Harmonizing electromagnetic waves emitted towards a gate could successfully diffuse its source signal. See? See, so that's this this is what I thought when the transmitter went crazy. Th that first one was diffusing the signal and starting to cancel out the, the gate. So transmitters can diffuse the source signal. We can use them to stop it, based on what Maggie thinks at least. So we use the transmitters then, right? Enough of them should knock out its power. Yeah, I think. I mean, we saw what the one did, which is definitely what we want to do, because you know, Ma Maggie says, she wrote here, that, that gates or portals, whatever you want to call them, can, in theory, destabilize the properties of our current existence, which doesn't sound good. But aren't we out of transmitters? H how would we do this? The general store's holding our transmitters, right? And climbing gear? Because if that's the case... That's what Evelyn said. Yeah, they have my stuff. So I know the owner, and I know where the key is, so that's no problem. After that, we'll have to put another three transmitters to triangulate the right harmonic frequency. The math dictates they have to be roughly equidistant and at the same height. So for us, that means a clear view of Edwards Island to compete with the signal traffic and get through to the other side of the harbor. After that... It should work sounds like something that makes just enough sense that i'll go along with it until it doesn't work that's about the level of confidence i'm at too okay uh, uh, okay okay <clears throat> let's get back to the general store get those transmitters and gear i just hope we're right uh, riley riley are you there pick up right now over oh it's evelyn we should loop her in riley jacob you guys there hey evelyn so Things are bad, but we have a plan. Sort of. Uh, over. Riley, what plan? What's going on? The readings we're getting on our end here look really bad. Sorry. Uh, it's open now for collectibles, so. We just know, based on these figures, there's something electromagnetic that's building in intensity. Evelyn, hey, it's Jacob. Yeah, we know it's bad and, and getting worse, but we figured out that if we use the transmitters to nullify the bad frequencies, it can diffuse them completely. You figured it out? Figured it out how? Over! And we figured it out with the power of science and uh, Jacob's knowledge of all this stuff. Just, just don't worry, we know what to do. The transmitters will act as a net. It would be like the old radio towers. The geography's bend is like a natural amplifier. All we'd have to do is just place them high above sea level and it'll knock out the signal that's screwing everything up. Uh, actually, this, that might work. Ah, and the stuff you need is just sitting at the general store right now. Ugh. That's not a big deal. That's Fred Hollinger's place. He's a buddy of mine. He keeps a spare key to the front door behind the back doormat. Hey, and I was gonna suggest just throwing a brick through the window. <laughs> so was I, I Evelyn. <laughs> I'm on Evelyn's page. Okay, let's go. All right, I got a lot of stuff to get ready over here. Good luck, guys. Godspeed. Over and out. Like, oh, and Jacob, oh. sorry, I forgot. Did you ever find Athena? Oh, uh, uh, no. Not, uh, not yet. You know, I, I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Country dogs can handle anything, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, th th thanks for checking. Over and out. <coughs> Sorry, I, uh, my, my dog, Athena, got out last night. She goes on walks by herself all the time, but this is the first time she hasn't come back right away. Something spooked her, but... I, I don't know. Oh, okay. Good to know. I will keep an eye out. I'm hoping we'll just run across her. Yeah, when when Riley was like, oh man, my stuff's just in the general store. I'm like, just throw a fucking brick through the window. Like, throw something through the window. It's fine. Time space has been bending for the past five years to cover Kamina at this point. Uh, a broken window is literally nothing if oh, everything ow, ooh, destabilizes. Sorry. Uh, the rocks are a little slippery. <laughs> <laughs> but then Jacob was like, I have a key. And I was like, while good, you're taking away my fun. I 
Also, I'm glad we had the clarification because I was about to say Athena is busy studying law. I know. I was like, what? This is doggy. Oh, I need to head to the general store before I can pick up collectibles. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I was like, it's right here. We need to do the general store thing first. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, wrong way. Oh, oh, sorry, wait. We have to... <laughs> ah, just got it. Whenever you cross a bridge, you have to spit over the side. It's good luck. <laughs> well, there. Okay, made it. Just this way to the general store. Cross your fingers he never moved the key. Just, uh, follow me. It's right here. If he did, throw a brick through the window. I want violence. Okay, key should be right under the mat. Real high-tech security, you know? Ah, I'm stealing gum. One. Hell yes. And grab me a pack. Oh, screw it. Grab me two. Eh, I'm all talk. Besides, the amount of fake sugar in these things, I don't need to grow an eyeball on my foot. That's technically B and A, right? It, it depends on who you ask. So we just won't ask anyone. There's the gear. Let's go. Uh, mind if I take a look at the gear? more transmitters and that looks like a climbing rope clasps everything we'll need which yeah i'm not really looking forward to that part try not to think about it though Ugh. we'll be fine jacob with the rope it's pretty easy honestly easy for some people now we're set anyways let's just let's just focus on fixing it we got our gear we got our map we're not restricted to the beaten path, so to speak. We should start walking to as above sea level as we can get. Take a look at your map and let's pick where we want to go. So we're looking for anywhere above 3000 feet. So obviously um, the first location is going to be Charity Point. The second is going to be Tutiga Falls. And the last one is going to be the Church of the Grand Architect. All right. Have an idea of where we're going? Uh, yeah, I think so. Doesn't seem too difficult. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Can you tell I've played this game at least three times? Ah, I was like, I remember there's one here. You no, know, I, I used to think about Maggie Adler and just what she used to tell me about all this, at least an hour of every day. With time, it faded, you know, like everything. But I never stopped playing around with radios, just trying to prove her right, trying to vindicate her a little. Everything that's been going on these last few months has really stirred up a lot. I'd be so absolutely crazy if this has to do with her. Oh, well, it does. Because <laughs> when, when he was like, yeah, she told me it was an accident. I'm sitting here going, she caused it. Ah! How'd you uh, meet her, anyway? She was an old woman who lived on an island. Oh, I used to practically live at the library, and she'd come and check out books on electromagnetism. She'd ask what I was reading. No one else would. She was, uh, she was a character. 
and I was so young. I don't know. I was a kid and bored and my house sucked, so, you know, why not hang out with some weird old lady who believed in magic? Eventually, I'd stopped going to the library. I'd read all the Encyclopedia Browns anyway. And she just carried this weight on her. You could see it in her trembles. It just got to be too much eventually. Sadness was like radiation. You, you can only be around it so much. Before... Yeah. You ever get back in touch? No, no, I, I didn't. She, uh, she, she died a few years back. I actually went to the funeral. Her only request was to be buried somewhere you couldn't see water. They did it on a hill, southern side of town. I think I was the only one to attend. Never wanted that to happen to me, you know? Make no lasting connections. It didn't make me feel good to see her like that. Mm, that was nice of you. I mean, was it? Actually, sure. Thanks. Of course it was nice. Onward. Of course it was nice, Jacob. Also, uh, if you saw the beginning of this stream, you should have alarm bells going off right now. What is this? Oh, no way. I buried this. When I was a kid, Maggie had me bury letters for her. Weird, I know, but she paid five bucks each. I promised I'd never read any of them. Never did. Never will. Keep your eyes open. I guarantee there are more of these out there. He got 55 hmm. bucks. She was still trying to experiment with this stuff, even then. There's 13 of them. Mel, I still cannot believe the progress we've been making, and yet it feels as if we've barely begun climbing. Between your theories about the potential of electromagnetic field and the technology we're developing, I feel illuminated. The bright light of possibility. I'm hoping for our next experiment, we could try a new location. Though I must say the silent audience of headstones is soothing to me, for however strange that must sound. I must confess, I took a look at Tom's headstone out of unconquerable curiosity. My deepest condolences. So young. Too young. Maggie. Sixty. Oh, yeah, sorry, I meant 65. I meant 65 and then I said 55. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> I can't. I did the math right in my head and then it just came out wrong. My my body is determined to just betray me with like you're shitty at math. Yeah, there's 13. Yeah, so you would have gotten 65 bucks, which that's a pretty good haul when you're a kid. That's shit, that's a good haul now. Uh, but especially like, quote unquote, back then. Wait, hold up. Stay off the walkie. Olivia's at Garland, where the receptions are. Over and out. Olivia Massel? I thought she sounded familiar. Have you heard that name before? Massel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, Olivia Massel is the teenage daughter of, uh, well, the easiest way to say it is their occult. The Massels. A well-known group of nutter-butter lunatics. Extremely wealthy, very insular, very private. Her mom and dad actually died in a prop plane crash almost four years ago, but she lives with her aunt and uncle now. That weird thing on the trail path? That's them. Parentage, they call themselves. And there are stories about people disappearing. Yeah, I saw their flyer at the store. You think this is a cult thing? Seriously? Hey, I'm just saying what I know and what I've heard, and you can take it or leave it. I just, I, I think it's her. Something must have gone wrong with their... whatever they were doing. Mel, since you don't want to hear it, you'll just have to read it. Our work will not yield the results you're looking for. It just won't. Tom, I am so very sorry to say, is beyond our reach. Beyond anyone's reach. Though hypocritical of me to say, I encourage you to look forward. If that's as impossible for you as it is for me, then perhaps try to change how exactly you look back. Take, Eva, take Hank to visit Tom. I know he's an infant, for now it's not for him. And when Hank is old enough to understand, tell him about his older brother. Oh. That's something for later in the game. Just put a pin in the name Hank. 
about Tom, that small patch of earth, those letters carved in stone, they can be so much more than a place for pain. The world has enough of those. Make it something else, something better. Thank you for your help. My work would have never as grown as it has without you. Now go find Hank and take a walk. And if you see me there wandering, do wave. Maggie. So Maggie was trying to help, uh... Tom reach his dead son. Or not Tom, uh, Mel reach his dead son. Okay. We're gonna go grab uh, another collectible. So it seems like Maggie was trying to find a way to reach Anna. That's what I think anyway. Riley, you there? Over. Hey, Evelyn, what's going on? Over. I just wanted to see how you were doing and how it's looking out there. Over. Evelyn, uh, how do I put this? This stuff, the, the portal above Edwards Island, is really affecting just everything. It's hard to stay in one time and, and place here. Over. I know this sounds insane, but... No, I don't think you're insane, Riley. Our weather station and relay measurements are... Well, the numbers are... Otherworldly. Way off track from where they should be. Yeah, yeah, Jim, I know. Sorry, a co-worker's letting me know he couldn't get his car started. It's okay. Riley? I want to stick to the plan. Still plant those transmitters, but can you do me a favor? Could you give me a call whenever you plant a transmitter? It would help me help you with what's going on. Just to get a reading straight? Yeah, Evelyn, that's fine. Over. Great, great. It's important you call me before you head out to your next objective when you plant them, okay? It'll help a ton. Okay, okay, I'll let you go. Remember, I'm on seven. Good luck out there. Over and out. My mother was an undertaker. That's one way to start a letter, Maggie. Mel, my mother was an undertaker. I grew up in a graveyard. They say that a cemetery is no place for a child, but for me it's a place of happy memories. Somewhere I go on gray days, sometimes wandering beside the headstones. I swear I can still smell my mother's perfume. Funny that we should run into each other there. You don't mean meet a fellow, many fellow radio enthusiasts in the wild, let alone one conducting experiments. I must say, the amplifier you were working with has thoroughly piqued my curiosity, and homemade no less. Bravo. I've always theorized that increased amplification of, well, any signal, really, could uncover all sorts of wonders and terrors and all these beautiful and awful things we dream about at night. For better or worse, I'm hoping perhaps we could work together and see if these theories are true. Also, I would love to hear who Tom was, if you're so inclined. Maggie. So, um... The Mel Chapman letters, I think that is, yeah, that is the end of them. Um, no, there is a number two. Sorry. Oh, no. No, no, no. I already picked it up. Um, yeah, so there's three letters to Mel. So that is the beginning. They met in the graveyard. He learned that Tom was his son. Um, Maggie worked with him for a bit. Um... And then found that the experiments, like, they, it seemed like they were going somewhere, and then that they weren't. So he encouraged uh, Mel to try and instead focus on his actual, like, other son, Hank, and tell him about his big brother. Um, and take him to the gravesite and use it as a place of grief and, you know, try, you know, she's like, I know this is hypocritical, but, you know, try to be healthy with it or at least try to turn it like another way like use it in another way than i've been trying to use it so again put a pin in the name hank i did again i did these collectibles but like that didn't really click for me until now i was like oh shit um okay we need to head back up to camber cape 
it's not as lore important as uh, the first game, honestly. Like, where the first game, actually, you can miss doing that entire triangle puzzle as long as you um, have Maggie's uh, letters in the first game. This one, it doesn't really help you, but uh, Maggie is so... When they, uh, when they hired me for this, they said I was going to have to work with somebody. And I said, you know, that's fine. What, uh, what can you tell me about them? And I said, all we can tell you is that she used to live here and then she moved away. And now she's moved back. And, and I remember thinking, ah, that's funny. I never heard of anyone ever coming back. I, uh, guess I just needed a reset. I didn't have a permanent address and drifting like that can feel great for a bit, like I'm beating some system, but I didn't really have anything to show for it, but a foggy memory and a lot of bad habits. Hey, you know, your dad rewired my folks' garage when I was a kid. How's the, how's he doing? Still an electrician? Yeah, he's not doing too well, to be honest. You know, he had me kind of late, so he's getting up there now. That was part of why I came back, honestly, to be a little closer to him. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, give him my best when you see him. Look, you, you uh, came back for a reset, and I, I know that it's going terribly wrong so far. But it's only the first day. Uh, who knows what tomorrow will be like? Thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, Maggie's such a core part of, like, Oxenfree that I'm like, I, I have to fucking figure out what the hell is going on with her and what she was doing in town. Anna. Who was Anna? Many people think Anna was the woman she was in love with. <laughs> uh, a lot like even before game two, everyone was like, oh, my God, she is in love with Anna. They were in love. And I'm like, there's no evidence for or against it. So go nuts. Uh, Jay, it was an accident, a careless mental mistake, two syllables. But you're not wrong. Anna is never far from my thoughts. Her name never far from my lips, clearly. Do not think it is by choice. So much of my life is not by choice. So much of all of life, or so I tell myself. I wish I could tell you it will never happen again. I wish I could tell you many things. M. And then another drawing of Maggie. Or not Maggie, uh, Anna. Can't turn this page around. Yeah, it, oh god. The, uh, the, um, okay. Okay, cool. We have a little bit until the next collectible. Um, also, I got uh, a flash of green, discovered the complete Adler letter set one. I'm wondering if that's a reference to pirates of the caribbean but maybe that's just me and my pirates obsessed mind um i also got uh an achievement uh, a house in the woods formulated a planet jacob's house so that, that that was story uh that was story related Oh, sorry. Wait. Click that out of the game. So, go past Jacob's place. We'll hit the Waterhead Bluffs and then head up to Charity Point. Past Jacob's place, like up past Jacob's place. Not to the right.
But yeah, I can only assume that she's trying to contact Maggie because she's already established, or not Maggie, God damn it, I keep doing that now, Anna. Man, total strikeout tonight in terms of luck. Broken truck, lost dog, and now uh, this situation. However you classify it. Hey, never say never. Strikes don't necessarily have to stop at three. There's always room for more. And hey, there's strike four. Last night I had a dream. I was taking a walk and someone was approaching. It turned out it was me. And like, not a mirror, it was another me. Only he didn't have a face. And, and then I reached up to see if I did, but Athena barked me awake before I could find out. Uh, sorry. <laughs> that just came to me right now. Just pops out of nowhere. Super creepy. Yeah. It stuck with me for most of the morning. Anyway, shake it off, Summers, right? <laughs> right. Uh, this... I think... I can take this way? There, there's a couple of different routes. Copper Creek Trail. Yeah, okay, this is just the top of where we found one of the letters. Got it. Little bit of a shortcut, not much. I was meaning to ask, when you were, uh, you know, in my house, in my bedroom is this, uh, thing I've been working on for, like, for, like, years. Clay sculpture? I can't remember if I covered it up or not, but, um... Assuming I didn't, and assuming you took a look, and assuming you formed an opinion upon looking, what might that opinion be? Lots of assumptions there, I realize. But, uh, you can't make an omelet, <laughs> am I right? Yeah, I saw it. It was kind of hard to miss. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm ever going to get it downstairs. So, thoughts, questions, comments? Minor criticisms that'll keep me awake at 2 a.m.? Under this hat, I'm all ears. And conditioner. I genuinely, objectively, without a shred of consideration for politeness, liked it. Well then. I genuinely, objectively, uh, uh the, the, the rest of that, appreciate it. I usually just work with scrap metal. I figured, you know, branch out, Jake. Minor criticisms that'll keep me awake until, uh, at 2 a.m. I'm like, all right, stop being relatable. It's a work in progress, both the sculpture and the branching. Maybe someday it'll leave the bedroom, have the world uncover it, you know? See if it was worth the dirty fingernails. Maybe. Yeah, like that. Maybe. Um. A wonderful word. Yeah, how it lets you off the hook of responsibility in such a gentle way. Yeah, that whole like silently to himself maybe drives me fucking nuts. Like, yes, I could infer that by how he was saying the line. Like, uh, uh, I'll shut up. I brought it up. <laughs> You're done. Ah, bit of a leap there. Uh, we could climb down here also. It might take a little longer. I just don't think we can make the gap. Right? No, piece of cake. Is it? Because it doesn't look like it. Oh, definitely. Riley! Uh, Riley! Uh, Jesus! Well, are you okay? Please say something! Riley! I'm um, okay. Nothing broken, I don't think. Uh, give me give me a second. Hey, uh, careful coming down. I got it. 
<sighs> okay. Hey, you doing all right? You look okay. That's a good sign. Mostly just embarrassed. It's nice to be reminded you're not 16 anymore. You can, Bruce. Yeah, don't be embarrassed. I'd have shattered my face. At least you know how to roll a little. So, we, we want to go up there, but the caves are pretty well connected. We follow this one through. Should wind up somewhere on the other side. She admittedly isn't the prettiest plan, but she's the best we got. Uh, unless this is a bear cave. In which case, we probably won't wind up somewhere on the other side. Not unless you mean the other side in some sort of religious sense. No, I don't think there are bears out here, but well, of course now you've got me wondering. Anyways, come on. Just this way, I think. So that's a nice little homage to uh, the uh, It's a Me achievement in Oxenfree, where you can jump that gorge very easily. Funny how just a little light makes everything both less and more spooky. Weird, right? Maybe it's just me. Uh, yeah, especially caves with bears in them. Okay, please stop mentioning bears. There aren't bears in these caves. Yes, we will take a break soon. Thank you, Katie. Jesus, when did all this fog come in? Hey, uh, if you're on this frequency, pick up. Who's that? Riley, are you there? Over. Yes, this is Riley speaking. Over. Man, you sound... Uh, actually, you don't sound at all how I thought you'd sound. But, uh, how's it going? Over. Yeah, I'm fine. Who's this? Over. Um, you know who this is, but I'll give you the space to figure it out for yourself. Okay. I don't want to waste your time. That's a pretty important resource. But my mom used to tell me stories. That's why I'm calling. Because one of the stories was about tonight and the things that are going on. Anyways, I just had a hunch. I'll see you later. <laughs> Hello? This is not the same person I was just speaking to. Over. You're speaking with Nick Stewart, ma'am. Were you speaking to someone else on this line? Why are you on this frequency? Over. Hello? I didn't call you, buddy. Over. No, it was you. The reception was bad, but it was you. Listen, I got you on the horn here, so can you do me a favor? You sound pretty clear, which means you're probably in Kamina, right? Probably at the dock by Charity Point? There's an outpost for local fishermen near you. Can you take a minute and check if a blue backpack is in there? It's the outpost for local fishermen. Yeah, uh, sure, I'll help out. A blue backpack? Yeah, awesome, great, that'd be a big help. Just give me a ring if you see it. Thanks, over and out. Huh. This must be the outpost the fisherman guy was talking about. Maybe we help him out? Maybe not? We are in a time crunch here. I guess somebody sleeps here. Sometimes. Yeah, fishing expeditions can sometimes take a while, I think. Actually, I don't really know. Don't listen to me. Why do people love killing things and putting them on walls for other people to see what they've killed? I don't know. Looks cool, probably. That'd be my guess. Well, I don't know what else I expected. Oh, it's, uh, that guy's backpack. Maybe you should call him back. Let him know he found it. Hey, uh, Nick? Yeah, your, your backpack's here. It's blue, right? Over. Oh, okay, good. I thought maybe I did bring it, but that the stupid thing fell overboard. Uh, look, this is an emergency line for boaters only. I'm retired now, but I was sort of an amateur explorer. Never charted anything, but I'm all over Kamina, so if you need any info about the area, 
Or Edwards Island? I've been all up and down the coastline. Just give me a holler. Anytime. I'll be up all night. Sure, I just might. Over. Okay, thanks for the help again. Over and out. So yeah, if you guys hadn't guessed the main, like, gameplay gimmick in this is not the radio, uh, like Jacob led you to believe, it is the walkie-talkie. <clears throat> the radio, um, I'll be honest, actually does not have much, much function, which is a huge bummer. Um, but I do like the walkie-talkie. Uh... Yeah, the radio doesn't get a lot of use unless you're specifically talking to that one girl from Kamina High who locks you out of, like, any other potential friendship routes. And, um, I am doing an experiment to see if, uh, the achievements that I tried to get last time, uh, popped are gonna pop on PC when they didn't on PlayStation because uh, I don't know if it's just a PlayStation glitch or a PC thing. So, cause some people have said that they did it this way and other people said they've had, they've had trouble. So I'm curious, um, just experimenting. And uh, and I've already done the talk to the Kamina Hi girl. Um, and yeah, I can relate her story later. Um, but yeah. Uh, so we just helped Nick and we're gonna keep going up the bluffs. Yeah, I can't I can't go up that. I just remembered. And our next collectible is around here, but not quite here yet. So I will get up here. Walk forward a little so I know where the heck heck a heck I'm going. Is saving in the setting? No. I thought I could save, but okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, he's, he's a break time. Uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, but for those of you on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. We will get to part two next time. And I will see you then. Have a good one. Take it easy.